Today I'm going to show you how to create a multi OS bootable external hard drive. Actually some of you may ask me why? Because previously I made video where I showing you how to create a multi OS USB stick. And you know, I making this video because you ask. Yes, one of my viewers or subscribers just wrote me in the comment can we do the same process with external hard drive? So actually this video will suit enthusiasts who want to have more than 100 bootable operating system on a single hard drive. And today we also going to use Ventoy. Ventoy is a free software which you can download from the internet without any problem. It is free available and it is very simple and easy even if you do this first time. So guys, before this video start, please like it and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. So let's get it started. My friends, we are in the Windows and first of all, I will connect my external hard drive into the laptop. As you can see, I successfully connect my external hard drive using SATA adapter. I will close this window. So if we click here, you may see that I connect my external hard drive. I want to show you one interesting thing. As you can see, this is Rufus program. And if you click here, you can see your external hard drive. And that's the reason why people think that they cannot create a bootable external hard drive. So Rufus will not help us in this situation so we can close this window. But actually I know how to create a bootable external hard drive. For this we need to open our browser. For example I will use Google Chrome browser. Click on it. After that you need to type next then toy and press enter after that you need to find downloads and click on it wait a few minutes and we are on Ventoy official website we need to scroll down a little bit and here you may see that you can do the same process on Linux in our case I use Windows so you need to click here on Windows zip and we are on github.com and from this place we need to download this file so I will click on Windows if you are a Linux user you can select this file click on it and wait until it will download on your laptop or PC after you downloaded Ventoy on your laptop or computer you can close this window after this process you need to go to the place where you save your file in my case I need to go to the download folder download click on it I will move this archive on my desktop to make it more convenient okay and also I will delete unuseful Rufus because it cannot help us. I will delete it. Okay. And now I will unzip the archive. For this you need to click on the right mouse button and you need to choose this option. I will delete the archive and I will open this folder. Here you may see Vantoy. This is the latest version. Click on it. One more time, your external hard drive need to be connected to the laptop or computer. Click on the right mouse button. After that, you need to run it as administrator. So friends, as you can see, system automatically detect our HDD drive. As you can see, it has 320 gigabytes and definitely it's for real. But if you don't see your hard drive or SSD drive which you connect to the laptop, you can click here and after that it must appear here. In my case, I will select my external hard drive and as you can see, it has D letter. If we go to the PC, you also may see that it has D letter. Also, I want to mention and show you one important thing. Here you may see option. If you click on it, you may see secure boot support. If your BIOS support secure boot, definitely I recommend to enable this option. Here you may see partition style, MBR, 
and GPT. Actually, MBR using in all the laptops and computer which support legacy. So if your laptop support only legacy, definitely I recommend to select MBR. But if you have a newer machine since 2013, you can select GPT. GPT support UEFI. Also, I want to mention one important thing. Here you may see ISO files, different operating system. Actually, most of this operating system support UFI, but only one operating system, FIDOS, doesn't work correctly in legacy. And that's mean, in my case, I need to select GPT, because if I connect my external hard drive into the laptop and select FIDOS, it simply will not run, because it supports only UEFI. So you cannot do anything with this. In my case, GPT will suit me the best. My friends, now we need to do one important thing. We need to click on install. All data and all files will be deleted. So be sure to save all your files. We will click install. One more time, I'm warning you that all files will be deleted. If you're sure, you need to click yes. One more time, click on yes. And now you just need to wait a few minutes. Okay, congratulations. Eventoy has been successfully installed to the device. So that's mean we create a bootable external hard drive. Actually, it is the same USB stick from which we can install different operating system. So believe me or not, now you just need to move your operating system on this hard drive on Ventoy. And after that, your hard drive will boot as a USB stick. 100%. I already prepare operating system which I want to save on my external hard drive. I will open this folder. So actually you can manually choose which operating system you want to move to your hard drive. You can find them on the internet. In my case I downloaded Linux Fedora, Fight OS, Linux Mint, Prime OS, Tiny 11, Windows 8.1 and Windows 11 22H2 version. I will select all of these ISO files, click on the right mouse button, copy all of them. Now we need to click on the right mouse button and select Past. After this process, all operating system will be copied on our HDD drive on our external hard drive. As you can see, this process may take 15 minutes, so definitely now we just need to wait. As you can see, we successfully copied all our operating system and now we can boot any of this operating system from our external hard drive. But first of all, I recommend to close this window and safely remove your external hard drive. For this you need to click here, then you need to select this USB icon, click on it, and choose your external hard drive. In my case, I need to select external disk 3.0. And voila, now I can disconnect my hard drive. So friends, this is my laptop, Lenovo L430. This is my external HDD drive which I'm going to connect to my laptop and after that we will be able to choose which operating system do we want to install. First of all I need to connect it to my laptop and after that I'm going to press F12 key. Actually this is the easiest way to choose which USB drive or which hard drive we want to boot first. Also after that I'm going to show you how to change priorities in the BIOS if you don't have this option to press F12 key. So now I'm going to connect my HDD drive turn on the laptop and I'm going to press F12 key so friends, as you can see, this is my SSD drive from which I previously run Windows 10. And here you may see USB HDD Micron Tag. And actually this is my external hard drive. So literally we're going to select our external hard drive and press enter. And voila, we are 
In the van toy, as you can see, we have Fedora, Workstation, Fido OS, Linux Mint, and other operating system. For the example, Prime OS, Tiny 11, Windows 11, Windows 8.1. So everything is very simple. Now you just need to choose which operating system you want to install. And that's all. For the example, I will select Windows 8.1 and press enter. Now you also have some option, but definitely I recommend to select the first option, boot in normal mode and press enter. And as you can see right now, we can install Windows 8. One more time, I want to repeat that this method actually is for enthusiasts who want to have a lot of different operating system on a single hard drive. As you can see, our hard drive connected to the laptop and as I previously said, I'm going to show you how to change priorities in the BIOS. Actually, every BIOS may be different, but almost all BIOS have option to select boot priorities. So I will turn on the laptop and press F1 key. In my case, I will enter the BIOS in this model. If you don't know how to enter the BIOS in your model, you can just check on the internet how to enter the BIOS in your model. Everything is very simple. So I will turn on the laptop and press F1 key. Now I need to find boot option. Here you may see boot, press enter we need to change priority we need to move our external hard drive at the first place and for this i will press f6 key so i move my hdd external hard drive at the first place and literally it's going to run it automatically so now i need to press exit exit saving the changes and the laptop will restart yes so folks, one more time we are in the Ventoy, but this time I will run Prime OS. I will press enter, boot in normal mode. If you want to see full video about Prime OS, how to run it from your USB stick, definitely I recommend to click here on this link. And now we can run Prime OS literally from our HDD drive. I will press enter. As you can see, I'm running Prime OS from my HDD drive. I can install Prime OS. Also, I can install other operating system. Everything works. That means you can copy a lot of different operating system on a single HDD drive and decide which operating system do you want to install. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. And if you want to know how to run a portable applications from a single USB drive, I recommend to click here on this video.